What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more Small Saga. That's right. Now last time we left off, we were just gather getting ready, I guess, to, to charge the castle. I think they were going to get a bunch of people, go down there and demand to talk with his majesty himself. We were going to try, that was going to be the distraction so we could get in the palace and try to go. It's a bunch of secret passages, a lot of crazy stuff going on. So uh, we're going to just make sure all our ducks are in a row before we go, but we came outside and saw this guy, so there's no way I can't go talk to him. So let's go see. Damn it all! My life is a- no, no, that's not his voice. My life is a damn wreck. First that blonde twink humiliated me and took my title. Then those scissor sisters gave me lip and then- and then- Are you alright, sir? He's beyond alright. He's steaming. I'll go- I'll go get a glass of water. A glass? Bring old barrel and drown him. Ugh, I'm fine. Just- just- just give me a sec. Okay, I'm sober now. Hardly. Sober enough, you judgy prick. Hey, you're bounty hunters, right? Uh, sure, we're bounty hunters. Perfect, that's perfect. I've got a job. There's a thousand seeds in it. Interested? You're drinking something that smells like vinegar. I don't think you have a thousand seeds to give. <laughs> Shows what you know about wealth, or fine alcohol for that matter. They call me the Sterling Knight for a reason, you know. Fine, I get it. You're loaded. Who's the target? Do you know Rosalina Maisie of the Thimble Guard? Two mice with scissor blades? Uh, we've met. Good, that makes things easy. I'll spare you the details, but we were out on a reconnaissance mission. Then the younger one spotted something and got spooked. She went crazy and took a swing at me, unprovoked. I fought back, blood was drawn. Then the older one stepped in and took a swipe at me too. I was lucky to make it out alive. So you want me to track down these two deserter knights, and then what? Bring them to justice. You mean kill them? Attacking a superior officer is a capital offense. Sheesh, I didn't think four hardened warriors would be such prissy pansies. This guy's the worst. <laughs> Even by Tinhead standards. He's trying to rope us into a murder scheme just to keep his own paws clean. Disgusting. I think we should take the job. <laughs> Siobhan. Really, Siobhan? I think there might be more to this story. I don't know where the thread will lead, but again, her to follow it just a little, right? I mean, maybe. Where did this all happen? Soul Hill Village, you know it? Of course, it's in the songs. Those stupid songs. Oh, but yeah, that's the place. I bet Dizzy I bet Dizzy knows where it is. Maybe we'll head over there and see what this is all about. Great, just remember, a thousand seeds for the heads. Oh uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna go follow up on that. Let's go talk to Dizzy right away, because we're going to Soul Hill Village to see what's going on with that. Definitely gotta follow up on that. Hey Thomas. All right, let's go. I love all their little feet, feet pitter patter. All right, Dizzy, we're going to Soul Hill. Come on, come on, Dizzy. Oh, I forgot his new steel tail. That's so badass. All aboard! All right. So yeah, Aquila wants to kill the Yellow God by using a bomb. I guess that they had reverse engineered over decades of intergenerational knowledge. Who is this Soul Hill? I think that's new. Yeah, Soul Hill. Alright, everybody hop out. Hup, hup, hup. Mind the gap. This is... Ooh. Y'all feel that? I just got a mad chill in my feathers. This is Soul Hill, right? The shrew village where the Blademaster Leo first made his mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is the place, alright. Bad vibes, though. Y you aren't picking up on that? It's fine. We, we can handle whatever's inside. And if you say so, Mouse Gang, stay safe. Alright, Soul Hill. Let's go inside. Oh, pretty empty inside. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, one of the Blade Masters there. Soul Hill. Curses beget curses. Alright. As, as I understand it, this was a shrew settlement once. Oi, once. <laughs> Maybe not as grand as Vinium, but someone's home all the same. Verm, do you smell that? Yeah, there are still rodents here. But I'm getting a whiff of something else, too. Something unfamiliar. Let's tread softly. It's a copper statue of a field mouse, yeah. The plaque reads, In honor of Blade Master Leo, slayer of Iron Fang, the Vulps, savior of Soul Hill Village, and hero to all. Ooh, is there a fucking snake in here? Is there a snake in here? What's going here? Yep, that's where she is. Nope, okay. Okay. 
I mean, obviously we're gonna not follow her in a little bit, but we have to follow her. Damn it all. <laughs> did Alex send you? Yep, he did. Of course, that scumbag is so cowardly to finish matters with his own paws. Take your leave or I'll cut you all down. We're not here to fight. I just want to get some facts straight. Uh, uh, what's the racket? Hey, it's you. D don't you recognize them, Rosie? They're the bastards who caused all this. Caused what? Caused everything. You humiliated us in the cloning wood. And then we got demoted and put on Alex's stupid squad. So you're the reason why... Why... Is she all right? Maisie, go lie down. Rest. Was I unclear? Leave us alone. Get out of here. Maybe we should just leave. I agree. We shouldn't have gotten involved with dirty tin head problems in the first place. Hey, what did you call us, you tatted up loser? Tin head. Say it again. I'll gut you. Tin head. Gwen, stop it. Everyone, shut up. Look, how about this? We settle things with a duel. Two on two. That's a fair, right? If we lose, we'll tell Alex you're dead. You'll be off the hook. If we win, you tell us everything that went down here. But either way, you get to have a chance of kicking our asses. I like the sound of that. Maisie, you should be fighting in your current state. In any case, this is a foolish thing to duel over. No, let's do this. Don't you want to punch their smug faces in too? Well, see? Fine, a formal duel it is. Who's your dueling partner? Oh, right, I better pick someone. Let's see... I mean, probably Gwen, right? I mean, Jesus. But Siobhan's got that new lighter she could try out. Pick Siobhan, yeah. Let's do it, Siobhan. Let's go, Siobhan. O okay. Yeah, I trust you. All set? Good. Standard dueling rules. First pair to fall loses. Draw your weapons, bastards. Because Siobhan's going to start with an overclock, and she's going to be able to hit both of them. And I want to test out her new lighter. Ooh, Nimblefoot. Evade upcoming attacks. That's fucking cool. Yeah, rage for sure, though. But rage for sure, though. Nice sword, but fancy steel won't save you. Yeah, spread fire. Deals heavy damage to all enemies. Hell yeah, do it. 30 damage? Jesus, Siobhan. I'll cut you both to pieces. And yeah, not if I hit you with this first. Come on. Damn, I almost took her out. Come on. Oh, and then, and then, wait, do I get to go again? No, she gets to go. Okay, okay, come on, Siobhan. Take her out. Boom, nice, yes. All right, now it's just two on one. We got this. This is going to be easy. Honestly, you should just, oh, what? no, he's raging. Yeah, so you should hit her. Because now she's bleeding. Now she's going to defend because she's going to hit her with that fire. And she defended, nice. No, we're not gonna defend, we're gonna hit her. We're gonna hit you, you know. And now Siobhan's gonna fire you. And probably kill you. Nope, not quite. It's okay though, she's bleeding. Seven, not bad, not bad. Okay, come on. Yeah, let's just finish her off. Boom, that was easy. Yeah, Siobhan's new ability and that, that blast, that worm fire is insane. Ugh, if I wasn't injured, if that damn creature hadn't... No, Maisie, let's not make excuses. They fought well. They fought honorably, and then they won. You must be gracious in our defeat. I... I don't feel... I knew it. You've reached your limit. Go to bed now. She all right? We might have gone too far. No, it's, it's not you. Soul Hill is cursed. It's the kind of village that attracts endless trouble. But recently, news from the village went completely silent. The Crown sent Alex, Maisie, and myself to investigate what had happened. We suspected Volp's activity, but then... A worm. Right, we were ambushed by a venomous worm. A particularly terrifying one, too. A titan amongst titans. That bastard Alex tried to use me as a shield. I got bitten and... I don't know, I just saw red. I did my best to fend off the worm. I managed to drive it into the cellar, locked it the door for good measure. Meanwhile, Maisie and Alex brawled. I was too slow. By the time I returned, Alex had beaten Maisie bloody and fled. What happened next? Maisie was too injured to move, so we stayed put. I treated her injuries from the fight, but the venom remains. I'll, I'll be fine, sis. I'm not a fool. I can see you're getting weaker by the hour. It's not going to get easier from here. Worm venom is a nasty way to go. Blood coagulation, paralysis, and then... Wait, hold on. She, she's dying? That's awful. I'm so sorry. 
I'm the one who's sorry. Maisie, I failed to protect you. It was my one job as your older sister. I can never forgive myself for it. You did your best, sis. That's all I can ask for. This is really going to hit a nerve with Verm. Siobhan's like, yeah, we Um, there is an antidote. I read the recipe once. I could probably make it. What? Are you kidding me, Siobhan? You have to be more vocal. What do you need? Let me think. Um, monks, monks hood petals, dandelion leaves, and venom from the worm. There's monks hood and dandelion all around. I can gather those in no time at all, but venom... Acquiring that would be a little harder. You said the worm's in the cellar, right? Leave that to us. We'll have it in no time. You intend to fight it? We fought worse. I appreciate your help, truly, but listen. This is no common grassland adder. It's something else. Something horrific and primal. Maybe it was a titan born of spilled blood and guilt. A curse created by a broken promise. Or maybe it's some escaped god's pet. Stop being dramatic and hand over the cellar key. Alright, receive the cellar. Yeah, good luck. Alright. Let's do it. I bet it is some escaped god's pet. All right, she's going to get the monk's hood and dandelion. We'll go fight the giant venomous snake. Easy peasy. Bookshelf. Ooh, chest. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, what's that? Vulp's claw. That's pretty fucking cool. What does that do? Let's look at it. Let's look at it, everybody. Oh, the brick. Forged for one purpose. Ten. Literally a brick. That's funny. Oh, no, the Vulp's Claw is something different, maybe? Oh, it is. Okay, what does it do? Sharp. Ooh, it just adds four damage. Damn. Upcycle from gutter and damn. Yeah, I probably need to... That just does plus one defense? Yeah, let's do this. That does my fucking damage. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. I'll do that. And he's wearing the... Oh, it makes me feel cool. Six and five. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that, because that's good. The five health is, is nice to have. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Everybody's got good healing stuff, too, so I don't want to mess with that. All right, let's go. Let's save it. Just did a lot of monologuing. I don't want to have to go through that again. And we're going to do a double save. We're fighting a snake. You know what to say. When you fight a snake, they got double forked tongue. You do the double save. Do a little forked save for that forked tongue. Okay, so that's another. That's that's the door, probably. And this is what? Another chest. That's why we go check it out. Ooh, found a vulp's cloak. It's a mud throne, empty and cracked. All right, let's check out that cloak real quick. Don't mind if I do. Six and five. Ooh, eight and three. Damn. Plus six defense, plus five health. Ooh, yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, it's this one. Because I need Verm just to be dealing crazy damage, so we're doing that. Wait, but now he can give that to somebody else. Because his jacket's pretty good. That's just seven. She needs... Why doesn't she have this on? I thought I gave her that. Okay, and then... What does he have on right now? Plus six, plus one. Okay, not bad. The plus one's nice. He could have more, though. No, I like him having that, though. That's good. He needs that. The Grog is... Oh, yeah, he can dr get drunk. That's right. He can get drunk and do more damage. So we'll, we'll leave him with that. That's nice. And then, Gwen, what do you have? Ooh, 811. That's... Yeah. Gwen's got a custom thing. I'm not messing with that. All right, let's go. A cold wind blows from behind the heavy door. It's locked. Unlock the door. Actually, no, because I need to go save it. Because if I die in this battle and I have to re-equip all that stuff, I'm going to be mad. That's for future Zack right there. Th that saves for future Zack. All right, let's go. But don't worry, guys. We're not going to lose this battle. Unlock the door? Yeah, let's go. Where are you at? Here, snakey snake. Here, snakey snakey snake. Oh, shit. Have you heard the song of the Needle Knight? When Sotho cried out, the knight emerged, shining bright and bold. Okay. Well, ghost mice... With precision and grace, he slayed the vulps that besieged our home, and then the knight left a bloodied corpse at our door. Jesus, okay. Cool. Sounds like a cool guy. <laughs> curses beget curses. Blood stains the soil. A dead beast summons. Beasts darker still. They're saying this place is cursed to have big beasts in it and bad, nasty things. Where now is that needle knight who shone bright and bold? A hero's song plays to a rotten land. 
Okay, cool, cool. A cold wind blows from within. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd love to leave, but I don't think I need to. Jesus, what do we got? Okay, yep. <clears throat> oh, oh, man. Jesus, all right, let's do it. Well, yeah, let's, let's rage. Gotta hit this thing hard. I don't fear the dark. That's good. I'm glad you don't, because this thing's fucking mean looking. Heavy special damage to all enemies. Yeah, just do this. Oh, 333. Let's see. Siobhan, let's just see what your fire does. 28. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We need sword break for sure. And that's going to inflict bleeding, which is good. And then he's going to play an encore and give Verm another turn, and Verm's going to hit this fucker pretty hard. Cleave. There we go, there we go, that's what I needed. There we go, the curse of Soul Hill is bleeding. Shit, the curse of Soul Hill. You all feel your energy drain away? Shit, he took down our stuff? That's not good. That's awesome that I'm doing that much damage to him. I love that. Okay, let's just, uh, yeah. Oh, just whack him. No, oh, no, let's defend. You defend. What weapon, what item do you have? Bandages, stops bleeding. And heals 10, grants a bonus turn. We'll save that. That's good to know, though. Good to know you have it. All right, Siobhan, you're definitely going to hit him. But what items do you have? Just heals 20. Good. Okay, let's sword break again. Oh, not enough energy. Damn, just stab him then. Go for that stab and get him bleeding. And he doesn't have enough, so he's just going to defend. Dire toxin shit. Stunned and poisoned me? No, he didn't poison me. That's good. At least I didn't get poisoned. Worm fire. Burn him. Burn him, Siobhan. 15 damage. Jesus. All right. And I need you to defend, honestly. And I need you to give Verm an extra turn. Because then at least he's going to... Not be stunned, maybe, and get an extra thing, which is good. Verma stunned, which is fine. Curse of Soulhill's bleeding. Ooh, 11 damage is rough. Verma's still stunned, but now he's full, which is great, because he can rage. Let's do this. Heals 10, grants a bonus turn. Because he needs that. Attack. Cleave. No, I'm going to rage. I'm going to mess you up, dude. You just wait. I don't fear the dark. All right, now it's her turn, and she can sword break. She can finally stop his attacks from being so mean. All right, and you, Bruce, give that Iron Court of Erm. He's about to mess this dude up. Deal all kinds of damage. Here we go. Was that 72 damage right there? And bleeding? Like, that's insane. Now he does 12. That's all right. Even though he doesn't get another hit there, he still did what he needs to do. Worm fire. Let's do it. Take this fucker down. Come on. Yeah, just stab him. Just stab him and inflict that bleeding. Whack him. Why not? Get a hit in there, Bruce. It's not It's not advised. It's a, not a great move, but I think we'll be okay. Bandages, heals eight, stops bleeding. Let's heal. No, she's not bleeding. Gwen needs to stay up. But I think she's just going to defend for now. So Gwen will just hit him. Yeah, Gwen, you got to keep doing damage because you're inflicting bleeding. And that's vital. What items do you have? Holy chocolate heals 15. Special grog heals 10, may have side effects. He doesn't need it right now. He doesn't need it. We'll just defend as well. We're just going to defend. He took 16 damage there, so he's not going to make it much longer. Okay, and she's got worm fire, so she can take him out. Look at this. Siobhan with the final kill on the big mean venomous snake. Nice. All right, she handled that nicely. Level up for everybody, of course. 
You gathered a vial of worm venom. You know not to linger. You hastily leave the darkness. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like there's maybe other things in there. I don't know. A cold wind blows from within. There's nothing for you here. Yeah, they're like, just get out. All right. Let's keep going down this road, probably. Yeah, we can come back for that that health. All right, what is she, where is she going from here? Health is good, but where were we going? We were going somewhere specific. There, we were going this way. Yeah, increase her attack by one again. Yep. That's the path we're on. Ooh, okay, we're going... Yeah, we want... Healing Melody should cover 30% more healing. Ooh, 500 if he's tipsy. Yep, we did that. Encore bestows one. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go that way. Give him some extra health. And let's work her towards the goal of shield break and sword breaks effects. Last one extra turn. No, she's... Yeah, Gwen's attacks deal 20% extra damage to bleeding enemies. Hell yeah. That is a great ability. All right, let's go. And we still just got eight seeds. We need more seeds. We need to be able to buy things. Need more seeds. Anybody else need more seeds out there? Leave a comment if you guys need some seeds, okay? I think it's only five seeds a month to be a member on Exactly Gaming. So if you guys do like this channel, be sure to subscribe. It really helps it out. That'd be really cool. Jesus, is a long hallway. It's time for me to just talk about Exactly Gaming. Look, you should subscribe. It's really fun. It works. It works to subscribe. You subscribe and it sends you notification when the videos come out. It's like, hey, Exactly the video. Come look at it. And you're like, oh, fuck, thanks. All right, let's go. <laughs> Blade Master Leo stands proud. Save your game? Hell yeah. You know we're saving after that. All right, let's save here. And let's go save that mouse. <clears throat> All right. Didn't take long for Siobhan to prepare the antidote. Well, that's good, considering that that mouse is dying. With an acorn shell mortar and a twig pestle, they ground the ingredients into a thick green paste. Thanks. I feel bad. I still feel bad. Oh, no medicine works that fast. No, oh, no medicine works that fast. You should rest up. <laughs> we don't have any way to repay you. Consider it charity. No, that won't do. I know. Verm, wasn't it? Let me show you something. Your sword play is excellent, but it lacks finesse. Let me teach you a technique that'll really showcase your full potential. Ooh, okay. Verm getting better with the blade. Verm learned blade storm. Cool. There's one last thing. Something that's been bugging me since your arrival. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Oh, right. That's It's a long story. But the short version is that there's a yellow god of death coming to Murida, and I'm not dying until I kill him. Wait, for real? You're gonna kill a god? That's crazy. It's clearly ambitious, a bolder act than most rodents would dare to even dream of. I can see your resolution. There's no dissuading you. But don't die trying, Verm. You know what the shrews say. Curses beget curses. Well, you know what I say? Go kick that god's ass. <laughs> I will. All right, damn straight I will, because I'm burned, baby. All right, is that it? We done here? Yeah, we're done there. We already went in there. That was the book room. Wait, was there something behind the bookshelf? No. Thought there was for a second. Thought there was for a second. All right, do a little one save. All right, game has been saved, and let's see, where to next? So we did that. All aboard! Um, oh yeah, I guess we'll go back to Alex at the place and tell him what, what went down. Let's go. Oh, Alex, Murda, let's go. Let's go tell him what happened. I have to remember his voice. He was very smooth. He sounded very smooth. Oh, shit. This is Station Murda. Hope you had a pleasant flight. Oh, you hear that clock? Look at it. It's going. Heard the, heard the clock that time. I don't think you usually hear the clock. They, like, made a point to do it. Interesting. All right, let's go by Thomas. Excuse me, Thomas. What's up, Tom? I'm staying your business. You know I'm just rolling through, man. Doing what I do best. All right, let's go this way. All right, let's... Oh, wait, no. Where was he? He was back here. That's back here. There he is. Here he is. You, you're the, the booty hunters. T drunk again. So, did you do it? Yep, Maisie and Rosaline killed them both. Nice. Shame I don't have a seed to pay you. <laughs> the sterling knight, penniless. 
I figured as much from the start. Enjoy your grog. It all goes back to that stupid blonde twink. All right, well, I guess stay away from blonde twinks, guys. I don't know. I, I haven't had a lot of personal experience with that, but maybe that's a lesson in life. I don't know. Leave a comment if you guys can relate to that. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds, you know, Alex, it seems like he's not doing well, so maybe it seems like that was a bad choice for him to make. What If we go in the book nook, is there anything new in there that I can see? Is anybody in here doing anything? No, he goes in there by himself, so that lets me know that there's nothing fun that I want to do. <laughs> All right, I think we should just go talk to Bruce about starting this thing up. So let's go see. So that was that the next move was to talk to Homeboy here? I'm kind of nervous, but we got this, right? Oh, I better go back to Sky Garden soon or Anton will have words. Oh, yeah, maybe we should go back to Sky Garden and talk, to, talk with Anton. Anything anybody else wants to do? Recently, I've been thinking about my home. Should I visit? Oh, so maybe we should go visit everybody. Everybody should go visit. I've got this feeling, this itch, like, it's as if I have unfinished business somewhere. Oh, so maybe we shouldn't talk. It looks like we do have some unfinished business. So let's start by going back to Sky Garden and talking to Anton. Maybe we should do that. Dizzy, we made it. We, we, did, the we did the wrong thing. Dizzy, we have to go to Sky Garden and talk to Anton. Dizzy, he can't hear us from down here. Fucking bird's deaf, and also we're very far away, so both of those things are probably contributing to it. All right, Dizzy. Dizzy. It's a long walk for a mouse. Dizzy, we got to go to Sky Garden. All aboard. You like flying around this city, Dizzy? You see the city from a much different perspective. I mean, now we do, too, since you carry us in a basket, but you know what I mean. All right. Let's go to Sky Garden. Soul Hill is cool. Love new location. We need more, need more new locations before this game ends. All right. Here we are. Sky Garden. Whole gang's back together. This type of Sky Garden. Mind the gap. Say like a subway for like mind the gap. There isn't a gap though when it's like a, a basket, is it? Does he? Maybe he just hears it. He just hears it in the subway. Let's go. Sky Garden. Let's go check on Anton. 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 There you are. Oh, you're alive. My lap had always knew. On that note, I need to have a word with Bruce. Yeah, go for it. What's up, babe? It's your flute playing. It's getting a bit... Uh, what's the word? How to say it? Bad. What? And my playing is as tuneful as ever. I sound like a nightingale in the morning light. Nah, more like a oh, not nah, more like a sparrow choking on a cigarette butt. That's a bit harsh, but um, it's true that your high notes can be a bit shrill. Come to think of it, in my time here, I've literally never heard you practice. It's like you enjoy having the image of a musician, but you don't want to put in the work to be one. I feel a wee bit attacked here. Hey, it's okay, Lapa. You just need one. You just need to do a little practicing. Get your groove back. Why not go speak to Tim, the trumpeter? He's friendly. He'll be happy to give you lessons. Oh, fine. I hate to admit it, but you're all right. I'll go find Tim. Tim the Trumpeter? Where the hell is Tim the Trumpeter? Well, now we got a mission. Tim. Oh, Tim the Trumpeter. Are you? Oh, there you are. What's up, Tim? I recognize you. You're the trombone guy. Bruce was looking for you. I'll go fetch him. It's actually a Baroque trumpet. I see, so you need to freshen up your music skills. And Anton thought I could give you some pointers. Oi, that, that's right. Let's skip the music theory and go straight into practice. No better way to learn to swim than by leaping in the deep end, right? Uh, unless you drown. Ah, well, nonetheless. <laughs> How about we play Gilded Roy's Melody? You know that one? Yeah, of course, it's a classic. Rad, I'll grade your performance just like a school exam. Ha <laughs> ha. No pressure, then. <laughs> nah, it's not so serious. You can always try again. Are you ready to play? Yeah, let's play. Oi, let's go. All right, all right. And a one, and a two, and a... Okay, okay. Okay, we're getting with it. We're doing it. We're doing it now. Playing some music.
Not doing pretty good. Yeah, that song ruled. Yeah, that kicked ass, man. Woo! Yeah. Bruce, my man, that was flawless. A plus. No, A plus plus plus. S rank. Nice. It, it was good. You serious? You should be teaching me. You have some confidence in yourself. I don't know. I just feel like there's more work to do. Hmm. How about you go rock out with Violet, the screeching creature? The punky bat with the guitar? I don't think our styles of music are a match. <laughs> yeah, she's got an edge. No doubt about that. You know, after Josh was ousted, she refused to talk to me. Or any of the gray squirrels, actually. And I don't blame her. Josh's regime was messed up. But once I broke out my trumpet, things chilled out a bit. It's not like a few notes magically undid all the wrongs or anything, but like, there's a common language in music. It transcends genre and style. It speaks straight to the heart. Is that too cliche? No, I get it. A common language. Thanks, Tim. I'll go speak to Violet then. All right. Well, it looks like Bruce is going to go talk to Violet in the next episode, guys. I think I'm going to end that one here for the day. So if you did like this one, be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. And of course, I want to thank all of my members right now. I've got two members. That's right. Rainbow Chicken Live has joined Spinning to Win in the members circle. So if you guys want to join the Cool Kids Club and get access to the private Discord, custom emojis, and a shout out at the end of every video be sure to click the members tab and join i sure do appreciate all the support i've been getting thank you so much again spinning to win and rainbow chicken live for both being members i'll see you guys next time mm, bye